Hello my soccer universe, welcome to another collection video and this one is really really different and I'm gonna show you quite a few shirts I will not use a lot of time but the motivation behind this one is you know you've seen uh, the latest fake that I got uh, and I didn't pay much for, for, for it and you probably ask why do I go for uh, cheap deals because yes it is worth it most of the time and I'm gonna show you now all the jerseys that I have gotten from this used jersey site that were 10 euros or less. Uh, I've got some, some of them in the 20 or whatever range. So but this is these are all to my um, how I remember it. These were all 10 euros or less. I'm fairly certain except I, I took all the ones out where I'm not so certain. Um, and maybe if you check on my New Jersey videos for these jerseys, uh, I might link them up, I might, I might stand cor corrected, but uh, to my knowledge all of these were 10 euros or less. Yeah, uh, Excluding shipping. I do not include here jerseys that have been gifted to me, because that's a whole other story, because uh, the actual price uh, when they were bought were, was clearly more, so that's why I don't count them. But these and yeah, it's also not right because when those were bought, they were also probably more, but you know, I did not spend it. Uh, once they had were gifted uh, to me, yeah, someone had to spend this money and it, it, uh, it was meant to me. So even make from it what you want. Uh, <laughs> this is how I decided to do this video. I'm going to do national teams first because the first real cheap jerseys that I got were all national team jerseys. Um, and I'm trying to go chronologically in a way. Uh, and then... I am going to show you the f a few club jerseys that I got for a really good price. And then the last thing is probably the biggest steal that I got out of that. It's not necessarily the, the cheapest one overall, but this is still my favorite uh, package that I have received for really, really, really dirt cheap. So let's get started with national team jerseys. The first one this is actually, I think, only the second ever jersey that I bought from Wilhaben. It's this Sweden jersey for 5 euros. Cannot complain. It is an original. I ch it checked out every, 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 everywhere. It is this famous design. I was really happy. I had already a Sweden jer uh, jersey, but I wanted to have an Adidas one, so done. The next one, uh, my brother helped me get this one, was this Algeria jersey, which I think also was 10 euros, I want to say, um, if not cheaper. Really, really nice. I absolutely love it. I have an Algeria jersey, yes, it's a little bit tight, tight on me, but, you know, 10 bucks. Then probably, a mar uh, before the last one, this is probably the biggest steal of them all. I, this was seven. It is a medium, that's why I have been hesitating, but I got this for seven bucks. Yes, excluding shipping, so I, I, you have to add on uh, between two and five euros for that. But uh, please, this is one of the most famous jerseys out there. Cost me all of seven bucks, and I'm so happy to have it. Um, and yeah, fits a bit tight, but it, look, it looks all right. Now, this is one where I'm not 100% sure whether I paid 10 or 12. It's this Austria player issue. Player issue. Away from 2006-7. Still, probably my favorite Austria black jersey. Cannot, cannot complain about this. This is really the one with the bonded seams and every heat bonded seams. As I said, I'm not 100% if it should belong in this video, but I wanted to mention it because uh, this is a really, really special one. Um, then, this one cost me all of 8 euros. Poland. I needed a Poland jersey. I thought I need a Poland jersey. Yes, I still need it. It's not the most exciting one, but it's from Euro 2008. 8 euros. What? Do you want more? Uh, then recently, and, and that's another one where I'm not 100% sure if it was 10 or 12 or whatever. But this Spain jersey, I want to say it was 10, but I'm not 100%, but still, dirt cheap. This is the Euro winning jersey back then, where I needed a replacement. It's an original, it checks out all, everything. It's a beautiful jersey, super happy to have been dead, have, have been able to that quickly replace it. And the latest one, which you saw in a um, packing video, unfortunately I washed it with too many others, so it's a little bit wrinkly, is this Germany jersey from 2010. Absolute beauty. Don't, uh, I mean... I'm not for Germany in any ways because I'm Austrian, but uh, this is an absolutely beautiful jersey. So yeah, very, very happy to have that one. So let's move to club jerseys. I think this one was also 10 euros. Not 100%, but I think this was 10 euros, if not less. Uh, 
it came with a lot of stains. I got them out. It is like new. Wonderful athletic jer uh, jersey. Very happy with that one. Um, then this Manchester United, I think was 8 euros or 10 euros. All my Manchester United jer jer jerseys I got for cheap. I, I said I need a Manchester United. I was looking. I got this one. Wonderful. Really great jer jersey. Especially I like the effect here on the back if you can see it. Uh, what more? Can you complain? Um, this Dortmund is another one where I'm not 100% but I also think it was 10. Um, maybe not the most flashiest of Dortmund jerseys, this was from the self-produced era, but I have to say this is actually the classic Dortmund look. This is how they used to play with a yellow and just a black collar. So very, very 50s, 60s like. Uh, so I, I actually like it and it has the Dortmund, it has the leak patch. It's my Dortmund jersey. Yes, maybe I should get a newer one soonish, but uh, good enough for me so far. Really, really, really nice jersey. Um, then one that I got just before Korea for Christmas, another eight buck jersey. When I was looking for Lyon jersey, I could only find 30. I find this one. Some were selling me for eight and this is a beauty. Absolute beauty. Yes, these slivers look weird. But look at the crest and how everything is well done, the whole pattering in there. I mean, I have to make a separate jer jersey. This is a, such a fun jersey in many, many, many ways. Really, really beautiful jersey. Eight bucks, totally worth it. Then, well, that's the last one before I show you my best pick. This is, of course, five euros. This Manchester United jersey. Very happy to have this one. I like this better than the other one. I wanted to have it because it had the sleeve patches with the championship patch. It's a really nice design, it's not from a successful season. The reason why I got it for cheap is because it has a number and a name on there that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it belonged to a Tom who was probably born in 81. And I'm still thinking of taking this off or maybe not. I have to think about it, but it doesn't really bother me. So yeah, cheap, got a cheap jersey. Um, well, before I reveal my top pick, I just was editing a video and I remember that I forgot one. And actually quite kind of an important one. I got this 2014 World Cup winning Germany jersey in 2018 Christmas for 5 euros. was my first Germany jersey and it's a winning jersey. So yeah, I was more than happy to take it and have this as my first Germany jersey. And as I said before, although unconventional, I really don't dislike this one. Now to the top pick. But I think the biggest deal that I got, and this was during Corona times when I was, you know, reduced hours and all that, that because I said, okay, I'm gonna hold back on buying jerseys. And I came back with a vengeance af afterwards, yeah. I wanna hold back, uh, especially in June, on buying jerseys. Uh, May probably, probably will get some on. But I really held back when I saw this deal. Four shirts. One of them was a running shirt, which I don't count. For 25. I couldn't believe it. And I even contacted and sent a little bit more, more, more pictures because the last jersey I'm going to show you, there were only little ones. But it included this Argentina jersey. I'm honest, this is not my favorite Argentina jersey from 2006 World World Cup. And uh, it has quite some pulls, but it's decent enough. And I'm still think th thinking that this might be a jersey to experiment on how to get rid of the pulls. Uh, it's a decent design, but you know, the whole thingy up here, I never really quite understood. But you know, that was probably the team, the Argentina team that should have last won the World Cup. Uh, that was better. The 2006 Argentina was better than the 2014 one. It also included a similar, from the same period, this Chelsea jersey, which is near perfect. The only thing is uh, here, yes. I know the seller said that he has worn it uh, while playing soccer and so you see a little bit of damage here but other than that this jersey is in really good condition. So yeah, um, also really 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 good. But now comes the crown jewel of the whole thing. Those two alone I probably would not have gotten. Well I really and I would have paid 20, 20, 20, 25 just for this one. Look at this beauty. Yes, there are two flaws. There's a little hole up here. They tried to uh, add some stitching here and there is a little hole down here. Where is it? Along the seams, a little hole down here. 
But other than that, isn't this one of the most uh, outstanding Ice Roma jerseys? Champions League home jersey for 2002-2003. I have to say an absolute beauty. And when I saw this one, I knew this is the one. And it has been, and I have now been replacing it with that one that the Serie A background stays alive. But since Roma's uh, jersey this season are rather cut colorful, this is now my go-to Roma jersey. Uh, in my videos for this season, it might change for next season. So yeah, this, I know it's damaged, but I still consider this probably the biggest steal that I got. Um, that I got while I'm collecting large jerseys from used, uh, from this used site and I'm very, very glad. So there are some great jerseys in there, but for me the Roma jersey and the Cameron jersey all take the those two take the price and i have to honor, honor, say when i saw that i knew that i can build a jersey collection on a budget and yeah at, i have to say this year i have been spending more because i wanted to dedicate it uh least spend for my channel but yeah what can i say i'm very happy with this let me know which ones did you like from here. Uh, whoa, 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 what would you have paid as much? Do you, do you think these are steals? I personally think these are all steals and I'm very happy with every single one of them. In any case, I want to hear your opinion on this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!